While the varsity scrimmage was the marquee event at this year's Mott Spring Game, it was the warm-up act that got the biggest cheers. The Victor's Classic pitted the Mays football alumni against the former players dressed in blue. On behalf of the couple thousand fans who are already here, I'll ask it for them. Why aren't you out there? Mostly it's my high level of intellect that uh, leads me to conclude that if I were to go out there, I would probably pull two hamstrings. I'd probably break my nose running into one of these guys who falls over in front of me. And I told them when they asked me that I would be willing to officiate, but I was not going to subject myself to this humiliation. The May struck first when quarterback John Navarre found Benny Jopru open from 12 yards out. Looks like you still got it. Well, no, no, this is, this is wind-aided by far. There's no way, so we're just getting lucky out here. But the blue team bounced back immediately and tied it up 6-6 on this Spencer Britton strike to Gilvani Johnson. But just seconds later, Navarre launches this missile strike 45 yards to a blazing Mercury Hayes, giving the Mays a six-point lead. It's good to be out here having fun and uh, having all the guys get together. That's what I used to do. That's what I do now. So You're breathing hard a little bit. No, well, you know, a little bit, but it's good. I'm glad to be out here. It's fun. Hey, I thought this was supposed to be a flag football game, and there's a four Mississippi count before the quarterback has to pass the ball. How long is it taking you to really get to four seconds? Four seconds. No, really. Four seconds. No, really. Four seconds. It took the blue team just five plays to tie it up when quarterback Ken Solomon finds Elijah Bradley open for this score to tie it up 12-12. Just told the QB, just need to do some outside hitches so he can get the DBs up, get behind them. You look like he can still play. Oh, I can, baby. I still got a lot more ball in me. Can't y'all see? Navarre had the maze first and goal inside the five. But Zia Combs picks off the pass and turns the momentum to the blue team. Gilvani Johnson's touchdown catch gave Team Blue an 18-12 lead. Just six seconds to go in the half now. Navarre finds former center Dave Pearson open from 45 yards out. And the Victor's Classic is all tied up 18-18 at the break. That was probably the most amazing touchdown that I've ever caught in my whole life. Uh, one, of the, one of the few touchdowns I've caught in uh, the last 15 years, I would say, since high school. <laughs> this must be the busiest day of the year for you. <laughs> you, mean, you mean the first hour of the alumni game before the real team plays? Yes. Yeah, there's a few guys that are already complaining about aches and bruises and strains, but uh, we're hoping to hope get everybody through it happy and healthy. They're having a great time. Schmitty had extra ice bags on hand, but he said it was to keep the post-game beer cold. B.J. Dickey came out firing for the blue team to start the second half. He finds Bradley open for a scoring pass here, and the Mays find themselves trailing 24-18. But the Mays get back in scoring position. But Andre Weather comes up with a huge interception, giving the ball back to the blue team. And they capitalize when Spencer Britton fires a 45-yard strike to Elijah Bradley. It's 30-18 blue. This is a blast, you know. This is a blast to come back here. It's great memories. Um, great to be around the former players and, and to see, a, you know, the scrimmage and how things are going, progressing, and, you know, new staff and everything. So it's a good time. And the drama continues when Matt Wildy finds Jopru open. It's a tremendous scoring effort by the tight end. And the Mays trail by just six points. You know, I did play in the NFL for a couple years, so I feel like I should be held to the NFL standard being die. I have to be touched to be down. So I just uh, instinctively rolled in, even though I actually never caught a pass in an NFL regular season game. Um, I think that's been about eight years in the making. So that's my first professional touchdown, so I'm pretty proud. The Mays defense comes up big, makes a stop. Then 60s era quarterback Dave Glinka leads his team down the field, and it ends with a TD strike to Gerald White, and the Mays cut Blue's lead to just two points. It is uh, just unbelievable to be out there, especially in this type of field from when I played. It was a whole lot different. This is a beautiful, beautiful stadium. Right, let's talk about that touchdown pass. 
Oh, that touchdown pass, that's about as far as I could throw it. That was it. <laughs> I was just hoping that uh, I could get it there. And he came forward and got it and ran in the end zone. That was super. But Bradley comes up big again, finding the end zone for the blue team. And the lead extends to eight points. And there's just three seconds remaining in the contest, which means Navarre needs a 45-yard TD pass and a two-point conversion for the Maze. And it doesn't happen. Ball gets intercepted. The blue team goes on to victory 38 to 30. It was a lot of fun. I think the guys had a great time. And the weather cooperated, so you can't ask for anything else here at Michigan Stadium. A little worried about some of these guys out here. Uh, Schmidt was a little worried. We had plenty of ambulances and plenty of trainers out here. Doctors cooperated, but I'll tell you what, there's some of these guys that still have some great athletic ability. The game MVP was five foot six, Elijah Bradley, who received the brand spanking new 10 foot. MVP trophy. Is this an event that you would like to grow each and every year? Yes, I have all kinds of thoughts in terms of what we can do. I'd like to turn this into almost a day-long activity where we even maybe showcase a couple of our other sports, uh, introduce our fans to some of the other things that we're doing in terms of our other athletic events, make this bigger and bigger, maybe even have something after the, uh, the spring game in terms of entertainment. Really turn this into a day-long celebration of Michigan athletics. It'd be great.